Professor Roman Kozlov, Smolensk Russian Federation. Well, in general, antibiotics are unsustainable resource for human beings. Without the antibiotics, we wouldn't have effective therapy for infectious diseases independently on possible alternatives which might be developed. That is why it's extremely important to conserve the power of antibiotics, not to go to era before antibiotics. Well, predominant majority of upper respiratory tract infections are caused by viruses, thus antibiotics do not work. There are some exceptions, for example, tonsillitis pharyngitis caused by group A streptococci, where the antibiotics are required. But in majority of cases, there is no need in antibiotics and symptomatic therapy might help in quite substantial percentage of cases. And many of these diseases are also self-limited. I think in the recent years, there was a substantial global efforts in order to conserve power of antibiotics. The global action plan has been adopted by predominant majority of countries of the World Health Assembly uh, in 2015. And I think globally we need to do just one thing, to implement this global action plan with support of WHO and other organizations involved in these activities. And what is the most important from my standpoint of view is certainly political will with the support of the governments of the countries who signed this declaration and provided support to global action plan. Well, I think it's extremely important to understand that there is need for a visible display of educational materials, including those produced by GRIP. I think there is a quite a substantial possibility to educate both consumers and all prescribers as pharmacists from point of view of having displayed the materials which already has been developed, translated in Thai language, and it will be of a great help from my standpoint of view.